So my question to you is being both single artists and being in a group, you know, what, uh, what inspires you to be an artist? And, you know, if you could give inspiring artists or up and coming artists, if y'all can give them, you know, kind of some tidbits on, on ground zero. Ground zero. Um, that's kind of a, a deep question. I think just uh, ground zero, man. Um, enjoying it, enjoying music, just being a fan of music. You know, I think that's that's like the 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 basis of of why people like you. Know what I'm saying why right. they do music. Uh, so genuine, I guess. Uh, I guess that's my answer. Mm, straight up. Well, you know, like you say, to me, you know, music is more around healing. So it's more therapy based. You know what I mean? That's my way of expressing my emotions. You know, escaping maybe a hard day I may have. You know what I mean? So or either it could be cheering somebody else up. That can be like relate to that. Right. So I can, yeah. if I could put together like what y'all saying is, like for most people, you know, everybody, any music lover has that one, that one singer, that one rapper, that one in different genres. They got that one who has solidified music for them. They relate to. They can connect with. You know, on a on, on multiple levels, not just listening to the music but feeling the music yeah. interpreting the music you know personally because i know a lot of times i can associate with you know different genres of music i've got artists that can get me in the right state of mind you know what i mean yeah. get me change my mind like if i'm having a bad day or I'm mad or frustrated i know i can throw on a couple songs real quick it's certain artists yeah certain music for certain uh situations that you feel right i'm so like that, that. Like yeah, that. so I'm saying that that's your point of view, and then yours is on, you know, kind of, yep. you know, Every piggybacking time. off that, but kind of saying at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, taking myself to a therapy session, a self therapy session yep. where, Clear I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm connecting with, not just with the music and with the words, but really just, you know, letting it resonate in my mind and my heart, and trying to get my mind, you know, to change, you know, to change what I'm thinking, change what I'm feeling, you know, what I'm saying, get myself in a better, you know point of view or perspective so i feel that um yeah, so man. and you know like everybody like I said everybody like music want to jump in it you know what i'm saying so to some people you know music is hobby so everybody might not look at music as being professional and i think sometimes that's a vague perception to some people sometimes like yeah everybody saying they're doing music is might not be in the same genre or approach what you expecting you know what i'm saying because it just everybody ain't getting paid to do the music you right. know, to be honest yeah i mean when you think about like yeah you ain't gonna get paid starting off you know i see, mean yeah and the approach there is a different approach is like because everybody's uh reason itch or something reasoning for making music it might be different but I think what what Jackpot is leading to is more like there's a uh, a difference between like those that are handling their like business yeah. side structure of music versus waiting on a handout or something. Yeah, or not, yeah I mean, and it just becoming uh, the stagnant. difference of becoming a hobby versus an actual like business that is in the make uh, is in the business of making money. You know, I mean, they have definitely showed us, you know, with, you know, the inside scoops that we see with, you know, different uh, labels and different artists. You can see that there's definitely um, a strong, yeah, a strong sense of uh, having to pay attention to the business side because you can get yourself into, you know, a bad deal. You can get yourself into where you lose money versus making money or you even just become a product. Now you're not even generating any money for yourself, but you're now, you know, somebody pretty much owns you. So to the up and coming artists to, you know, 
look at the look at the music game full spectrum. Don't just look at the 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 benefits or the rewards, but also look at there's sacrifice, there's loss, yeah. there's a lot of things you got to go. You got to deal be good. with. You like contract. You got to be good, good too. Like you know, that's another thing is like I think with how how easy it is to make like and create with the tools that we have in in 2022 like now uh with the technology that we have yeah. it's so easy to neglect the fundamentals of like the craft of 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 making music whether it's uh not like knowing the history of like the hip hop if you're a rapper or you know neglecting uh the fundamentals of like chords or some music theory if you you know do a musician if you're a musician uh so i think that uh that's like a huge thing because like a lot of people want the money and like unless it's like you want to be known for like the music that you make you know what i mean it truly will be like a ceiling and, and and limit like and people want to be paid for uh subpar level skill set and you know they're you know the the not any fault of theirs but if you don't take it to like a higher level i feel like it's, it's, it's they gonna put you on the shelf right you know what i mean so i mean that's that's one of the things that i always uh i think about Okay, I I can dig it. So you just really got to make sure you stay true to why you do your music. And not just staying true to your music, but staying true to yourself. Yeah, because, again, like, in this day and age where it's so easy to make music, like, you can, and make money from it, you can really neglect uh, the fundamental things, the lasting things that keep you there. Because everybody wants to play the star. And you know, uh, music's just one of those, one of those things, man. You know, people. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's it's hard to put in words. No, yeah. I feel you. My, no you know, pun intended. But it's still that's why like that teamship stuff is important. You know what I mean? Like time management is very important when it comes to this mu- music and building your stepping stones. Time management plays a part in this. Yeah, I think uh, with being a, a artist or being in a band or group, or you have to make sure that you got a good support system. Woo. You got to make sure that you got somebody, I- at least one person, to keep it real with you. Everybody want to do it on their not, own. Not not just be no. And I, I'm 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 getting to that. I'm saying you got to have somebody there to tell you the real. Because so many times when we can hear somebody